Hi Aquarians, thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. My name is Elena. I'm doing a general spread for you. It is good uh, from now throughout the first week of November. I'm going to look at something you've recently been through. If it sounds like your situation, this is your reading. This is how I resonate with people. I'll be looking at the opposing energy, somebody you've been dealing with. If you haven't been in a relationship or dealing with anyone, there is a timestamp to just fast forward it to the incoming energies, if it sounds like something you've been through. This is good for all placements of Aquarius. Feel free to move some energies around. I just want to say this. I wasn't going to do any readings today because Monday and Tuesdays are usually my downtime, but I woke up with you on my mind and I tried to say, okay, I'm going to do it tomorrow, but the pull was so great. So I'm going to find out what's going on. Something my Aquarians have recently been through, Spirit Guides, one or two cards that this reading is for, for the sign of Aquarius, one or two cards for the sign of Aquarius, current energies, or something they've recently been through. All right, hmm. what do I have? Well, I have the Four of Wands recently in the past. This is about something that opened up and came together. Or it appeared that way. But boy, oof. Uh, the Ten of Wands here is basically telling me that that thing you were going for with already so much weight from it, from the past, I feel, has put a huge strain on you. It's like you can't, eat, you don't even want to pluck that flower again. Literally, you don't. And the Four of Wands was telling me it was something that came together. It was a union. I'm going to begin the reading. I'm going to look into your energies first for the sign of Aquarius. If it sounds like your story, my Aquarians, this is your reading. And then I'll look at the opposing and then what's coming in. I've seen a big shift in all these energies coming in, boy, after Mercury retrograde is just about over, moving into Scorpio season. Something my Aquarians have recently been through, spirit guides, that this reading is for, for the sign of Aquarius. What do you want to show me? Something that my Aquarians have recently been through that this reading is for. What else do you want to show me? Anything else? For the sign of Aquarius? Anything else? Oh. Bottom of the deck is I have the lovers, Gemini energy with uh, the almighty magician, the high priestess. Oh my goodness. The hermit, the hierophant. You guys have five major arcanas under the deck from the Page of Wands. The page of Wands is eager fire energy, but uh, I always start with under the deck. To me, it's the strongest energies. You know, recently, uh, The Lovers is about, is about a very strong connection with somebody. You know, it's um, somebody who leaped before they thought about it. Just a passionate page of fire. You know, I have the magician. Uh, this is about someone who wanted to create something with you. I felt with the hierophant here, it was about climbing to a higher level of something, using your intuition through it, and you knew something wasn't feeling right because I have the big hermit. And that is telling me that you withdrew. Could be with a Virgo, but it, it's just the energies it's telling me about what you went through. And the hermit is about withdrawn energy because you knew something wasn't feeling right because I had the high priestess right next to it. And then I see the four of wands with that uh, 10. Like plucking that flower again really became a weight to you. I think you saw through something. I'm kind of feeling it. I have the six of swords over to my left. Air energy, but it's about uh, recently in the past, you really needed to get a way to think about this, what somebody um, has done. I'm gonna look in their energies next. I have the Queen of Swords, yeah, really looking through something because the Queen of Swords is uh, Libra energy, but it's just about, it's the Queen of Air, you know, using in, intuition, listening to what someone has been telling you or said to you because you felt if it wasn't trustworthy or honest, you were going to bolt. And then I have, yeah, completion of a cycle because I think you bolted. I think you felt someone has been dishonest to you. I don't know why. And here we are, the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is you holding on to something because you've achieved your self-worth. 
whatever you went through, it's finally a completion. It's, you've learned lessons from it. New cycles are about to begin. I have the Knight of Pentacles. This is the night after your stability with big old temperance. And then I have the Six of Pentacles. You know, and what I really feel from this is when you finally achieved this recently, I know my self-worth. Maybe you're going through it right now. You know, that Queen of Pentacles doesn't give her a pentacle away too easily because she fought so hard to get there. Grounded, beautiful, kind, intuitive energy. You got two queens. I have a temperance, you know, major arcana for Sagittarian, but this is about being patient, balancing and blending. You knew something was over. Your intuition was screaming at you. I have the night of stability going after something solid. This is the night that doesn't back down from going after what it wants with stability. And I have the six of pentacles because you know you're about to receive. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. This is what I do. I'm an intuitive reader. I'm going to look at the uh, imposing energies. I'm going to get uh, hmm, one card from the mystical moments or two from their energies. If you're not dealing with anybody, there's a timestamp to move you right into the incoming energies because some people aren't in a relationship or they're in a happy one, you know, and they just want to look at readings to see what's coming in. Spirit guides, the opposing energies for the sign of the Aquarius. Ooh. What do you want to tell me about the opposing energies my Aquarians have been dealing with, please? One or two cards for the opposing energies Aquarians have been dealing with. Thank you. Hmm. One more card. What else do you want to tell me, please, about the opposing energies my Aquarians have been dealing with? Anything else? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got to take those and I'll tell you why. I saw something in a pre-shuffle and these cards, some of these cards were here. The first card that fell out was I have the Ace Cups in their energy. This was something that they felt a new opportunity with love, a new beginning. I have the Six of Cups in their energy. It was like, a, it may have been somebody you known for a long time, somebody you grew up with, somebody that you felt this amazing, beautiful connection with. It made you feel alive again, made you feel like a child. You know, new love can do that to all of us. I have the Ace of Wands, but right next to that new opportunity of inspiration with the opposing energies is I have the Five of Swords. In this uh, deck, this is about somebody who took a piece away just to hurt you and they're hiding. Literally, that's what I'm feeling. I have big strength showing up in their energies. This is big Leo energy, but... Um, what happened here is standing in some type of energy of strength and courageousness. They said something to you because I kind of feel that they weren't being completely honest with you about something, but I have the high priestess showing up. This is someone who has been tapping into their inner resources, their inner knowledge, their inner wisdom, their gut feeling. But the last card they gave me is the hangman. Like they're making themselves stuck from an old way that they believed in or something in their life is making them feel like they can't get out of a situation. But with the Queen of Swords here in your energy and uh, the High Priestess, oh boy, you know, and that Queen of Pentacles, you came into some type of power recently in the past. And I think this person is just in a situation that they can get out of, but they're stuck. I don't know, but I'm going to look at what is coming in for you because that's the most important reason we're here. Okay, spirit guides, one or two cards for the in hmm, for the incoming energies for the sign of Aquarius. Hmm. One or two cards, please. Incoming energies for the sign of my beautiful Aquarians up to the first week of November. There it is, right there. I got the Three of Pentacles with the Four of Cups, and then I have the Emperor. The Three of Pentacles is about working with someone with bricks, something solid. Yeah, I think you're gonna be working with someone to get to something solid. I have the Four of Cups. Uh, I don't think you're gonna be offering your cup of love to someone from the past anymore. <clears throat> I see too much Queen Power in your current energies. The Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles, there's no way. Well, whoever did you wrong, 
Yeah, your, your back is completely to them because you're more concerned about working on your stability with bricks with somebody else. That's what I'm feeling. And then I have big Aries energy, the Empress showing up. Uh, this is about uh, wearing the crown of wisdom, you know, with the knowledge of uh, words being spoken from learning from something and standing in some type of power incoming. This is the emperor. And this is what I think is coming in for you is I think that you are about to conquer and succeed something is what I really feel. Okay, let's look. Incoming energies for the sign of my Aquarians, please. Up to the first week of November, November 7th for the sign of Aquarius. What do you want to show me what's incoming? For the sign of Aquarius, uh, big strength popped out, Leo energy, about um, kindness, grace, strength, and courage. What do you want to show me about the incoming energies? Hold on. I got I to gotta line them up here. What do you want to show me for the incoming energies? Thank you. I hear one more shuffle. I'm sorry, Aquarians. I just, I have to go with what I feel or it's not going to be a good reading. For the sign of Aquarius. You know, uh, okay, incoming, please, for the sign of Aquarius, thank you. What do you want to show me for the incoming energies up to November 7th? For the beautiful Aquarians out there, this reading is for, for the sign of Aquarius. What else do you want to show me about the incoming? Whoa. Energies for the sign of Aquarius. Anything else? Anything else? Bottom of the deck is the Four of Cups. Yeah, you aren't going to be giving your love to someone anymore. With the Queen of Cups here, it's all about um, letting it go, releasing it. Kind of feeling bad for the other person. The Queen of Love, you know, the Queen of uh, Sympathy, Empathetic. You know, I mean, just, it's empathy. It's like feeling bad for someone. And you're just not going to give your love to someone anymore because it's completion of a cycle. It's over. It's done. My spirit guides want me to tell you. Get ready for a new adventure with the Page of Wands from achieving the Queen of Pentacles. From achieving your self-worth is incoming. You got a new adventure that awaits for you. Right in front of me, though, I see two fives. So I just have a feeling I need to pick these up first. I have the Five of Wands with the Five of Cups. I got two fives. I haven't seen all the cards yet, but I have a funny feeling that you're going to get some conflict about someone who is very sad about some lost love they're going to fight for you i'm just saying someone's going to fight for you you know or you're just going to have a lot of conflict with stuff that you're dwelling on from the past about love it's like passionate conflicts five of wands maybe with yourself but let's just see what all the cards want to say yeah i got big judgment showing up with the juggler the two of pentacles temperance and then the king of wands you know, uh, judgment is coming in to the first week of November. It's about releasing things that aren't serving you anymore, Aquarians. With the Two of Pentacles here, knowing that it's something that you've been juggling with, you know, or you felt juggled. Judgment and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, going back and forth. Maybe about your finances. Maybe releasing something that hasn't been serving you. Then I have temperance showing up. Sagittarian energy, but this is about being patient. You know, very balanced, blending everything with the King of Wands, the King of Determination to win. The King of Wands is the King of Fire and Passion. You know, but hold on. Let's see what else we got here. I have the moon showing up. This is Piscean energy, but what I feel it's telling me to tell you is to... This is about things that are going to be hidden from you. I have a funny feeling something is going to be illuminated. I don't know why I'm saying that. I kind of see the cards over here. But the moon is just something that I felt you weren't too sure about anymore. You know, and with the king of wands here, this is telling me that it is the king about winning. You might be, uh, you know, hearing from somebody. But with patience here and balance and blending. And then I have the two of pentacles. And then I have judgment. You know, I think in the incoming energies is you're really going to release the things that have disappointed you, the things you've had conflicts with, 
you're releasing it because I see the next two cards, Aquarian. I see uh, the four of wands coming in. This is telling me that from being patient and um, being the king of determination from things that seem hidden and disillusioned is this is fire energy, the four of wands, and it's with the ace of wands. You know, and uh, towards the last week of November is you're going to have new inspiration and gateways are about to open. You're about to be offered a passionate brand new beginning. You know, you see the butterfly with, from transforming yourself and releasing things. You know, um, that's what I really feel from this. Um, the flower is about to be offered, my friends. And with the four of wands, it's like something's going to be open and given to you by that last first week of November. You know, I think uh, the first few days is you're really going to be judging something that you've had conflicts with that have disappointed you, you know, but I have the Queen of Pentacles here with the page eager to go on a new adventure from a completion. It's over. It's done. You're about to start some new adventures. New cycles await for you. And apparently that's what they want me to tell you is whatever you're going through, you've achieved such stability and success. You're about to receive... I can already see that with the Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles is you're more concerned about going after your stability. And with that six there, you are about to receive something here. And then this is what they're telling me. And this is it right here. It's absolutely friggin' amazing. I'm achieving something with your self-worth and it's done. It's a cycle. You know? But I'm going to get one or two cards from the Archangel Power Tarot cards from my spirit guides for you. What do you want to tell my beautiful Aquarians today, Spirit Guides? <laughs> what kind of guidance? One or two cards. Hmm. All right, one more shuffle. I'm sorry. They're a little tough. These cards are hard to shuffle. For the sign of Aquarius. All right, I'll take it. All right, Spirit Guides. One or two messages about this beautiful reading today. For the sign of Aquarius. What do you want to tell my beautiful Aquarians? I got two cards. That's all I wanted. All right. Uh, I have the three of Michael. Yeah, Angel Michael's always showing up at your readings. Release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. Yeah. They want me to tell you to release it. Whatever has been weighing you down because you got some new opportunities with gateways about to open for you. And then I have uh, 12, the perspective card. And that is Archangel Shamu. I think that's how you say it. There's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. You know, you guys had that page of wands. I really felt it was getting ready to go on a new adventure from achieving something. You know, it's a completion of a cycle, you know, with these two fives here, it's just telling me that the only thing that's kind of holding me back is reflections from the past and just conflicts, you know, going back and forth about it. Maybe it's your stability, maybe it's somebody, but what I feel from this is uh, the king of wands is the king of determination. Be patient, Aquarians, it's coming. I have a passionate brand new ace of wands about to be handed to you. And by the last week of um, the first week of November, we'll let the ending days, gateways will open. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. This is what I have for you, Aquarians. If you enjoyed it and it resonated, please remember to subscribe. Hit the like button, leave a comment if you like. Thank you. And thank you to all my wonderful Aquarians who have supported my channel. Thank you so much. I hope this helped you. Let me know. Hope you guys have a beautiful uh Halloween and an amazing upcoming few weeks. Thank you.